I'm probably just going to run straight to the cutscene, so... Not much talky talk for the next 40 seconds. Here we are, it's Kanehurst. Looks really nice. Uh, this is always a fun area just because you get lots of malleable enemies to fight that don't bother you too much, so you can mess around with more attacks and stuff. Another fine note, that's gonna be like number five or six. It's only been like two and a half hours right now, it's for that time period. I think only one of them did anything there, as per usual. I'm not sure what triggers the ghosts appearing. I think it just if you just stand here for 45 seconds, they eventually pop up. Uh, we could go pick up Ryder in the meantime, though. Ryder's worth like 20,000 souls, in addition to being an awesome weapon. Well, they're still not popping up. Okay, finally. Okay, you can see that the side dodge version is a little bit different, like it trails on the ground. And it's also different than that, so it's basically a completely unique attack for dodging. It's not like that for every weapon. The left and right ones are the same in this weapon's case. If you think Blade of Mercy, they're different. But... And of course you can't do side dodges unless you have an enemy to lock on to, so it's hard to like... make a video where you explain all the weapon's attacks without actually having an enemy present to fight. Some weapons it doesn't change that much, or at all but it does in this case. If we do it with uh, this, it also changes a little bit. It basically moves you forward when you do it, even though it's the same swing nominally. It's not as different as the two-handed version, but it is still different.
These guys can actually follow you out the door. But it's not. It doesn't happen very often. And it takes them a while to get there. That's a new one. And of course we gotta pick up the dress if we're gonna be in the Beauty and Beast Beauty and the Beast castle. There are chunks up here. Um First, like five times through the game, I didn't realize he could give us this tower. Play the game enough and find every item. There aren't any crazy obscure items. Um, Dark Souls 2 has like five or six areas that are just completely unknown to almost everyone. And Dark Souls 3 has like one or two areas like that. But Bloodborne and the first Dark Souls, not as much. Of course, Dark Souls 2 is the most content by a wide margin. So it's natural that it would have more really obscure shit. So many amazing chests ahead. They're everywhere. Cargoals are actually kind of a pesky enemy, so it's nice to get one out of the way easily. Man, this will be the transition point to uh, one moment. Steel 2 always works. Oh, right. Um, if you get behind this thing, and then eventually get shot by this dude, then that pisses off everybody. And they all go crazy. But they can't hit you on the side of the table. This is the dart that's hitting me, not them. But you can hit that. Well, there's probably a few weapons that you can't hit them with, but this isn't one of them. So, that's an easy way to deal with this group of enemies. And get them all aggroed. Which could also be annoying to achieve. Has a little bit more health than I remember, but okay, no big deal. And I'm actually retaining the health files pretty well here, so I might just get a, a straight attempt on the Garius without too much trouble. Gunshots knocking these guys over, so not sure why that happens. And I don't really feel like fighting the other two in here because sometimes they're annoying. So I'll just run out the window. There. 
This guy's fine because he can do this. Well, if I can knock on to him. Oh, looks like it'll uh, lock in outside of the menu. There we go. And sometimes he falls through, sometimes he falls over there. Sometimes he just clips right through the tower, and sometimes he lands like right here, so you actually have to kill him. Either way, it's entertaining. Look at the beautiful view. Amg. Must write message that says beautiful view, or whatever it is. Amazing view. Need penetrating attacks ahead, therefore rear, something like that. Hmm. 18 bullets is actually a little bit low for Lagarius, so this might be kind of scary. Lagarius is technically one of the hardest bosses, but it was like on the cusp of being a really cool boss. They just killed it by giving him like invincible armor that prevents bullets from damaging him or reflects 90% of the bullets he shoot. For some reason I tend to open that chest, don't need that item at all, but oh well, too late now. <coughs> And we're almost in the clear, my throat's not dead, hooray. <laughs> Though I did pretty good with eight hours of talky talk on the other day, so a few hours here, not the big deal. Should I rear? I guess the butcher garb is okay. It is letting me put the hat on. I don't think it actually works though. As far as adding defense. So for Lagarius, the idea is to lower his health enough so that one parry will put him in phase three, basically. Or we'll skip his animation that makes him invincible to bullets. Uh, and I tend to use the blood letter for this. I'm pretty sure it has good gems in it already. But I could be wrong about that. But I think the saw actually has enough, uh, like the parry damage is high enough on the saw that I could just use this in case the blood letter underperformed. So let's get started. If if I fail at getting the phase check, I might just die on purpose um, because it makes the fight so much less annoying. It's Ligaris, he's an asshole. What's up, asshole? And there's one of many reasons why he's an asshole. Okay. This tower is nice. 
I think because of where he's standing, I might be able to get a few extra hits here. Why not? Um. Oh, that was lucky, okay, but didn't notice quickly enough. Oh, I think I went too far. I think he's gonna transition. Maybe not. No, okay. He's like very, very near transition. So what we're doing right now is waiting for him to slowly walk forward. That signals he will want to do a melee attack. And then I just parry it out. Like so. And that should theoretically skip the uh, face transition. That's the idea anyway. No, I didn't do enough damage. So now we have to deal with double bullshit here. Uh, it's not really worth it in general. You probably summon swords already, I assume. Yeah, swords are out. But in this state, he uh, he deflects bullets usually. So you see my bullets just whiffing for no reason. That's why. It doesn't always happen, but probably like 75% of the bullets you shoot will just arbitrarily not do anything. Which kills the fight. I'm gonna go gem the blood letter. So it does more parry damage. Hey guys, this is Red Chuck Dave, I'm here. Um just an interstitial comment here. So Ligarius is going to be retired, so say goodbye to Ligarius. We can wave at him, I suppose. Ligos. There you go. Just as good as a wave. Um, the reason why is because my strategy apparently doesn't work anymore, or... They nerfed it, they patched it out, no idea. Uh, the strategy of getting his health to a certain level and then parrying him, doing like 4,000 damage and parry. Uh, to force him past the bullshit part of the fight. Uh, which made the fight, uh, vaguely enjoyable. I don't know, it probably still wasn't enjoyable, but it was doable in a reasonable time period. Uh, Ligaris would probably take me on average two and a half attempts or so. If I kept fighting him normally, but I just don't care that much. <laughs> like Amygdala, also about two and a half attempts if I went and fought Amygdala still. But I fought Ligarius 20, 21 times, something like that. So I don't really feel like fighting him anymore. However, Kainer's Castle is awesome. And it was one of the best zones in the game, so I'm still going to do Kainer's Castle. So we'll, for future runs, I'll make it up here to the gate, and that'll be the end of the episode every time. Then you'll wonder why. No Ligarius. Well, fuck Ligarius. That's why. Uh, thanks for watching. Well, I screwed it up, but it didn't matter anyway. And it should be passed. Yeah, so no bullshit for it. Might actually skip swords too if I stay on top of them. I'm pretty sure that timing was right, but whatever. Alright, I think he's gonna swords now. No, oh, no swords. Okay. Uh, I think that's only like the second time I've ever skipped the swords, so... Yeah. Bypassed all of the bullshit today. Swords aren't as bad as him being... Uh, invincible to projectiles though, that's the worst. Definitely go in the wrong direction.
119. Alrighty. So we're gonna go do Nightmare Frontier. I will dodge invasion if it happens. It's not very likely that it will happen, but it's not totally impossible. <laughs> 